Hi, today I'm going through the Argos catalogue from 1994 and comparing it to 2019, 25 years later. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got this 1994 Argos catalogue, 1994, and the 2019 Argos catalogue, so that's 25 years later. So let's have a look at the differences. The first thing I noticed is the prices haven't really changed. £140 for a Roma. I suppose they do seem a bit cheaper. Look at the size of that Hovermaster. <laughs> So, this is the gardening section. It's quite hard for me to know, because I'm not a gardener, if the prices do seem that much cheaper 25 years ago. So let's try and find something that I know about. Wasp car alarm. Twenty-seven pounds. The old gear stick. A lot a crook lock. I remember the steering wheel crook lock as well. They were absolutely rubbish. Oh, you can get a nice set of seat covers for your car. I do. You can really see the age a little bit, but not a lot has changed. I've never seen one of those. See, oh, twenty pounds, eighteen pounds, forty nine for a extension cable reel. That sounds. Probably about the same price they are now. Rechargeable batteries. Where did they go, hey? Yeah, I'm not into golfing. You see, doubles, I'm sure they're still £20. That's £20. They're still £20. Prices really don't seem that much different, which means now that they're cheaper than they used to be. I haven't really come across that many vintage things. Okay, that's a little bit vintage. Okay, these bags do seem cheaper. They're about 18, 20 pounds. I can remember when a head bag was the one to have. They're more expensive now. Nike was saying, just do it 25 years ago. That's how long that's been going. Onto the bike section. Some funky looking sleeping bags. Yeah, they're very odd designs, aren't they? There's no pop-up tents. Oh, some very floral um, 
sun lounges for the garden. See, that's 264 pounds. That just means that things are cheaper now. It must be the prices haven't really changed. And they've stayed the same. And they're just cheaper now. That's my thinking behind it. Some very floral gardenware here. Okay, so let's have a quick look into the gardens. This one's much smaller, much smaller, but a million times thicker. I don't think I'm going to just suddenly find the garden section straight away. I wonder if it's still at the front like it used to be. No. Oh, here we go. So we want plastic, just like that one. Did they even do it? Here we go. Okay. I need some some I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get the same, am I? No. Okay, so let's just have a look at the recliner chair. That's thirty pounds and you can get a cotton cushion for £20 to go with it. That's for one chair. Whereas this lovely recliner chair here, which is the closest I can find, is £30 with the cotton seat. So that price has gone up. I'll go with that. I'd better if I get a really good example. Tables. I'm sure they still do these tables. I'm sure you can still get these tables. Let's have a look. Oh, I should have compared the camping gear. I come back to that. So, where am I going to find tables in here? a bit homey. The home section's coming through, it's not there. I maybe should have looked at the index, but the, where's the phone that? In the bedroom section. Bathrooms. I feel like I'm getting closer. Come on, dining tables, where are you? Oh, no desks. Kitchen, I'm definitely, definitely hot. There we go. Right. I just need to find that one. Oh, it's kind of 
those, but not the same. something else. I need to find something that is still around today. Exactly the same. I might have to go back to camping. These were terrible. They just fell apart, these ones did. Do you remember the old Silent Night Hippo? There he is. Look at the floor on that page. It's just oozing 1990s. Or a Casio calculator. Black ash. I remember when everything had to be black ash. That was the modern of the 90s. So I can't compare that. Fax machine. £300 for a fax machine. Typewriters. Floppy disk cases and floppy disks. Got all those Casio digital diaries. I used to have one of those. And I had one of these amazing calculators and really didn't know how to work it. I can't believe anyone really used all the functions on these. Integration, matrix operations, regression analysis, function menu system. Answer machines. Oh, I can remember the old payphone. Everyone had one of those in the house, £180. Yeah, maybe it's not because it's just the fact that we earned less, obviously, 25 years ago. Wage has gone up. The prices have stayed the same. Corded telephones. That's some lovely gas fires. If you moved into a house now that had one of those, you'd be ripping it right out. I think you can still get those. I think you can still get these heaters. You can definitely still get one of those heaters. Let's have a look at heaters. Not very exciting, I know, but I need a really good comparison. Washing machine. the heaters. Oh. OK, 
Glenn don't make those heaters, it's DeLonghi now. Um, I thought they looked... I can't see any gold air. Looks a bit like it. What's it called? A two watt convector. That's number six. A two point five watt convector fan heater. Number five is a two watt convector fan heater. This is so boring, I know. But that's not a fan heater. You know what, it's near as close. It's £35. And that one is £35.50. <laughs> Prices haven't changed, we just earn more. Oh, what a fantastic retail study I'm doing here. Maybe one more just to prove the theory. If I find something else that you can definitely still get today. You definitely can't get these lights. Definitely, definitely can't get these lights. You might be able to get the scales. You might be able to get the shower. I'm sure Triton's to fish showers, but they'll be different when they. I need something that's not changed. Ooh, they're awful. That's the kind of thing you'd find in an old hotel. Electric blankets. I'm sure there's something a bit more exciting than that. Oh, can when they first came out? A cordless vacuum. Black and Decker. Do they still do them? Tools right at the front. No. Nope. No, it was home first now. It's home first now. Like it's going to be somewhere around here, isn't it? Tools, 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 tools. Oh, I should have done. That's a perfect example. The Karcher. £230. Oh, two hundred and eighty pounds for the full kit for a Karcher jet wash. No, no. No, there's a hose. You couldn't get a car 25 years ago. Oh, what a shame. Well, there you go. 25 years ago, you couldn't get a car job. So, let's go back to the Black & Decker. in Hoovers. They're going to be in Hoovers. Black and Decker. 
the back in. Oh, hold on, there's another no, hoover. Hoover. £20. Black and Decker. And to be fair, this one starts at £20. I think that's my experiment concluded. The prices of items 25 years ago have not changed. But you can still get these. 100% 10 pounds oh no 15 that's a bit more of a sturdy one 15 pounds last one last experiment because you can still get these for sure and I think I'm not too far away because I'm there we go I knew it 14 pounds that is my final experiment So, let's just see what are the vintage, oh look at those vintage kettles, Russell Hobbs, the flowers going up the side, a auto tea maker, you are very posh if you had one of them, now you're very unpolished. I see those on car boots all the time. Oh, cute little cookie jars. Some things just haven't changed at all in 25 years. And some things definitely have. Styles. You can't imagine your house decked out with all. Oh, my mum had loads of that. I used to display it all. And invite people around for dinner so they could look at it. Elizabeth Duke Jewelry Collection. So there's no point looking at the prices because they're going to be the same. You'd still be happy if you had these as long as they are real ones. I think gold's gone up actually. I'd be tempted to look at these prices. Surely gold's gone up. Uh, how can I have a look? I see something. Hasn't got the weights on anyway, so it doesn't matter. I can't check. So let's zoom past you. Look at I can't check you. I was just looking to see if they had the old coffee bean. I used to have a coffee bean. I was actually looking recently. These are worth quite a bit of money to have a calculator on your watch now. If you've got one of those, I think they go quite well on eBay. I was after one for my son. And um, they wanted... Crazy money. Like two, three hundred pounds for a Casio watch. That used to cost nine ninety nine. So if you find one of those on a car boot, keep hold of it. Sunbeds. Ah no. <laughs> uh, I was laughing without people who ran out and had to buy a sunbed. Spent an hour a day lying underneath it. That's a little bit of inappropriate now, in England anyway. 
You won't find that in an Argos catalogue now. Or the pen knife, I'm sure. Safety first. Some garish luggage. Oh, the old film cameras. I do miss that. Going to the shop and waiting to get your photos back. I'm getting all excited going through them. And then quite deflated as you thought the photos were going to turn out much better than they did. Car stereos. VHS. Sony Walkmans. They didn't keep their value, did they? The alarm clocks haven't changed in their time, have they? They still look exactly the same. There you go. We've found something that hasn't changed in time. In the last 25 years. It's got to make you smile when you look at... Um, you were good if you had an absolutely huge stacked hi-fi separates. And now they have to be as tiny as possible and don't even look like stereo. Some big TVs. How much did you pay for them? £550. Wow. Can't see what size it is. Twenty-five inch. Wow. Six hundred pounds. Okay. So televisions have definitely come down in price. Don't you just wish you had kept hold of some of these? Yeah, with a fortune now. Oh, the seats we used to put our children in. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to fit through the kids' toys. Because that is the end of the brochure now. Oh. It pretty much is, yeah. Action man. Okay. I'm going to stop now. Rather than go through my childhood toys. That's it. There's probably still that many branches. So that was a flip back in time. 25 years. Not much has changed. Apart from definitely the size of the catalogue. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll speak to you later.